Hello, everyone. I wanted to share just a brief message today. Uh, today is August 8th, 2024. And today is known as the Lion Gates portal. And this is a really high energy day. It's a high density energy. And what that does, it allows, it's delivering frequencies to us, but it's allowing us to blend it in with our bodies, to absorb it into our bodies. And this is just a fantastic time if you're looking to create something new or invent something new. It also allows us to integrate our spiritual energy. So uh, what is the Lion's gate portal so um it's, think of it as an astrological event and this is where the uh star sirius aligns with the sun in leo and obviously it happens every year um but this year because um it's adding up to 888 is what, what it's adding up to for 2024 so we've got an eight there so we have three eights normally we just have the two so we know the spiritual awakening is all about waking up to the truth about our true human nature and also to the lies and the deception. And I'm watching a lot of things happen right now. A lot of disclosures are happening as uh, well in Canada, but definitely in the U.S. So I think while some people are focusing on that, it's important for the other people who are focusing on the creation to move forward in that area. So a lot of truths are coming to light. And so the Lionsgate portal, what we can do is use it to manifest our goals and our dreams. That's the idea that's behind it. And it, you can use it to attract good things to you as well. So I know some people, one person told me she got up at three this morning and meditated for a couple hours and just aligned with that frequency. So she chose to do it very early in the morning. But, um, you know, what time is it now? Two, two, two o'clock um, Eastern. So maybe people will have time to do this tonight as well. So use this energy to help you flow your energy between your spirit and your physical. And often the spirit is your connection, but it's your intuition, it's setting your intention and bringing that energy down into our physical form. We do, we are physical beings on planet earth. So it's, I think sometimes we get it backward when we think ascension is supposed to be just sending our energy up. It's about bringing those abilities down and incorporating it into our body. So, um, but ask for this, don't just ask for this necessarily for yourself. You can ask for this energy to be the best possible, uh, provide the best possible outcome. You can do it for the fauna, the flora. You can do it for yourselves. You can do it for the, the planet itself. You can ask for this energy to come in and benefit all beings. So that's really important that we um, keep that into consideration as well. And the other thing about the number eight um, for astrology, numerology, things like that. Normally number eight, that the eighth house deals with transformation and change. And I think once we start going forward and we are picking Picking up momentum as chaotic as it's going to be I don't think we're going back that's where I think we're at right now this portal is opening up a difference between the change between the past going into the present and then into the future right so a lot of times people talk about devoting themselves to um, like they want peace and harmony yes I agree with that you might want love prosperity for all focus on that's ultimately the goal we want Sometimes when we focus on what makes us different, we keep looking at those differences instead of saying, I want it for everybody, even though I'm not going to know the majority of these people, it's impossible, but I want what's best for everybody involved. And I think that helps set the um, intention that you want. It takes away the fight out of this, I think is what it does, right? So be intentional for what you and stand up for what you believe in. Remain true to yourself. This is the other part of what we're going through right now. We're going to see some kickback. I talked a bit about that yesterday when in the video, the tides are turning, but we are going to get some kickback and we're going to get people who are protesting. who want to keep the old system alive. Stand up for what you believe in. Know that you've done your homework on it, that you've, you've um, checked your sources, whatever it is that you need to do, but understand that you have the right to stand up for what you believe in and not be bullied into silence which is a, a big one, I think so. Um, so use the lion's gate to manifest your goals and desires and attract good things to you and to everybody. Want, want what's best for everybody. This powerful energy helps create good fortune and it's an excellent opportunity to bring wonderful things to life. That's what this is all about. So I think it's a time for personal growth, transformation, and to enhance your spiritual awakening. And, and I'm not talking just your connection to whether you call it God, source, whatever energy you're calling that creator. I'm not just talking about that, but I'm just about, about um, aligning yourself with truth, what is really going on. And, you know, sometimes there's a lot of nonsense out here where there's your truth and my truth and all this kind of stuff. There are some things that are just universally true. And it's okay to align with those while still making decisions um, for yourself and making those the best decisions for yourself. That's, that's your prerogative. 
providing it's not causing harm to anybody else, but there are truths that are um, considered universal. So uh, anyways, I wanted to share this, just uh, I haven't seen a lot of this online today. So I thought maybe I would just do a quick video and let people know what's happening energetically. So it's still gonna last for a few more days, but it's um, really good just to be able to, if you have the time, to start thinking big about what you want, because I think we've got amazing things ahead of us. So if you'd like to learn more about enhancing your intuition, check out my website, sandyglazecoach.com. And uh, there's a contact page there if you want to reach out, if you have any questions or you want to book a session with me, I'd be happy to show you how to bring those energies in. And uh, I don't know, I just think good things are coming. I know it's going to be chaotic and maybe the chaos is what we need to shake some people out of their uh, slumber. But um, while that's happening, let's stay centered and take advantage of the positive energies that are uh, around us. So if you like this video, please share it with, with um, family and friends. Subscribe to it if you want to see more of what I'm putting out. But I uh, really think we've got great things in front of us. So anyways, just wanted to share that. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.